I must, I don't remember. I must have had my hands up in front of my face. I think my head was above water, if I remember correctly. And I mean, I don't know, because it happened so fast. I didn't see him coming. I didn't see him leave. He just came and hit me hard and bit me hard. And I took off swimming to the shore as fast as I could. I was alone. Okay. There were other people in the water, but they were, I was way, I was a ways out. So I have the doctor he in the ER said he thinks according to the bites and where they are and what it looked like, it was probably about a 25-foot shark. That was his guess. That's only a guess, but that's what he was guessing. I, when I, I got hit really hard and bit, and, that, and then he, oh, he let go as quickly as he bit me. And so then I just started swimming to shore as fast as I could, yelling help the whole way. <laughs> But there wasn't anybody around for a while. Finally found a couple snorkelers. I told them I need help, so they helped drag me in. And then there was quite a few people that I'm very thankful for that were there and got immediate, they got towels, got whatever they needed, started putting pressure on my back, started putting pressure on my, ch on my chin, and started pushing not too much on my hands. Um, so I won't want to say thank you to all those people. <laughs> they were a wonderful help. The man who pulled me in, plus the people who helped before the paramedics got there. Uh, you know, at first I was just like, I can't believe this happened. I'm still can't believe that it happened. I'm I'm finding it hard to believe that it actually happened because I hear it's very rare. <clears throat> and what went through my mind was just get back to shore. I, that's all, and I swam. I, my mask was gone. I think that might have been what protected my face from getting more, because I think that he um, didn't, because my mask fell off, but, and it's gone, <laughs> and it's an optical mask. <laughs> so I'm hoping the place I got it from is very nice to me. <laughs> um, so then I just started swimming and swimming as fast as I could with my fins and my hands. And I could tell my hands were bleeding, but I, and I could feel on my back, I knew it was. So I just knew I needed to get help as fast as I could. The bad, the bad part I've learned, I've learned now that after a couple days from a storm, you should wait to go in the water, because it was rather choppy, and it was rather murky. I mean, I could see to the bottom without any problem, but there was lots of debris, and there was lots of, and yes, I did see a turtle. I was so excited that I saw a turtle, and it was a big turtle. <laughs> and I almost came back in then just to tell them that, because <laughs> they were on the shore with me. I, so I at least had somebody close by. And uh, so I was excited that I actually saw a turtle, and there was a lot of fish around. Somebody asked me if they, I saw finished fish panicking or anything, but no, I didn't see any of that. I think I'd gotten out of ways a little bit, and the fish were, weren't as plentiful. And I, I was just getting ready to turn around and come back in. I mean, I just decided I'm done. I'd been out there about an hour, an hour. I mean, a half hour to 45 minutes. And uh, so I decided I better come back in. I was getting tired, and it's time to be done. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, bam. <laughs> and I've got bites on my back, of course, on my hands, my so chin, kind of my lip. She can feel it on the Yeah, there's one staple up here, and I guess there's some up on the back of my neck, too. And he only bit once, and he let go right away, thank goodness. I'm very grateful to God for that, that he was out there protecting me. I don't know why he let me hit, hit, hit me in the first place, but <laughs> I'm, I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason, and something good's going to come out of this. This, it was on this side. I, I, I know he came in like this. So, I mean, I know, I remember that part. <laughs> um, we're staying at Maui Hill. And so we'd been there before. And I went out snorkeling earlier in the week with some friends at the one closest to us, which is, I forget the name of it. I think so, yes. We'd gone there. And so I wanted to go a little bit, you know, to another place, not the same place. So that's what took me there. <laughs> And we'd been there before, so we knew what it was like. Keep visitors to Maui? Yes, I've been here before. My parents had bought a timeshare here years ago, and they both passed away, but my stepmoms kept it up. So it's been eight years since I've been here, though. 
Um, life in general, like I said before, I feel like everything happens for a reason. And God's going to use it somehow in my life. I'm a firm believer in that. Um, going back in the water, I know it won't happen this trip. <laughs> we go home on Tuesday. <laughs> um, but I think I'll probably go back in sometime because I don't want to be afraid of the water. And the doctor told me, you know, chances of getting bit once are very rare, so getting bit twice is really rare. <laughs> but funny enough, on my way out, just as I started, I thought, I wonder what I'd do if I saw a shark. And when I saw the turtle, I was so excited. So I'm like, I gotta keep trying. <laughs> and it's beautiful, I love snorkeling. and So I can't imagine not doing it again. So I'm hoping it won't scare me off. <laughs> I had to cut off my favorite bathing suit. <laughs> Were there holes in your bathing suit? One. I think just one. one. one just one hole? Was there more? I don't know, but there oh. were a couple. We, like a we could see at least a couple down here. Okay. You're lucky, you know. Since I, mean, I am, I'm very lucky that it seems like you got he decided he didn't like me and that he let go right away. Right. You they were they were saying they probably they, you know since they can't see very well that with the murky stuff they thought I was a turtle or something and tasted me and said this is not what I want and let go. <laughs> so I am very grateful and I'm very thankful that it's not any worse than it is. Is there anything 